Hi guys, Sandy here. I've noticed a lot in tournaments and also in the analysis that players are struggling with the accuracy of their serve. So what we're going to do in this video is give you three tips how you can improve your aim. The first and most important tip is to open your chest on your take back. So you start with the racket back here, you drop in the ball in front and as your swing is only this short compact swing here, it's easy for it to be consistent and accurate. If you watch the World Paddle Tour on the high level, these guys, they'll be in this position when they drop the ball and therefore they just move into the ball and it's relatively easy. I see a lot of players starting with the hands like this and then they have a rapid swing and therefore they can't be accurate or consistent on the other end. Here are two common actions. The first one with the chest forward and it's a rapid jerky swing because he's thrown the ball forward and the racket has started in front and therefore the accuracy on the serve is not very good. And here another one is like the tennis serve. You start as if you're going to hit a tennis serve but again the action has to be so quick and he comes underneath meaning the important part of the swing is rushed. Here you can see with my racket already back I only have one swing path. I can take my time and get through the ball. The second tip is to take a breath when you're in that position and really that's basically getting you to take your time. So often players, they walk to the line and they immediately serve barely before their partner's even ready at net and they haven't really even looked up as to where they're aiming, what's going on at the other end. So what you want to do is to get in your position, take a breath, have a look at the other end, see where your opponent is standing and then go into your action in a nice controlled, composed way. The serve is the only shot you have complete control over, so make sure you and your partner are ready and you give yourself time to have an accurate serve because a bad serve will mean that you're immediately defending on that next shot. Give yourself time to get your feet, both arms in position and have time to have a look at the other end before you serve. The third tip is to go for your first serve. So many players just put the ball in first and second serve, but you've got two serves and you can always pop the second one in. So the first one, go for it. Go for that accuracy. Try and get it to bounce near the glass or near the line. And that way, at least you're practicing a little bit more of an aggressive serve. You might as well practice that first serve because you do have a second chance if you were to miss it. With the three tips, the best way you can improve is to practice and you can practice by aiming at targets. You can put a cone down or a can of balls or a ball or something down the other end in the corners and take a basket, take the ball and go through these three tips while you're practicing. If you practice like that, it's going to be a lot easier for you to do this in a match. Now over on this side, I'm going to put a playlist of serve and return videos where we've covered other areas of the serve and the return and hopefully that will help you improve these parts of your game.